back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 941. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddog.com. Check out all the full length episodes. That's where we house them. Yesterday, we introduced the low bear position. Normally, we talk about doing, doing a low bear <laughs> crawl position, all right? But we don't always have the ability to do that. So what are some other things we can utilize the low bear position for in some place for a household like this where there's not a lot of room? We uh, challenged you yesterday by doing circles, and we asked you to do is to pick up one hand at a time. Today we're gonna increase that challenge by asking you to pick up two appendages at a time, okay? And we're gonna do crosses. So this is this position is called a low bear cross extension, okay? All we're doing is lifting them up. So you can also call it cross march if you want to. You're gonna get yourself in the low bear position, so we start out in that quadruped position, flatten off our back so our back isn't hunched like that, but it's also not pushed up like that, find that middle ground position. You're gonna have nice active hands, nice active feet, and you're just gonna lift those knees about an inch or so off the ground. From there, I don't care which two you pick, right, but you're gonna lift up one arm and one leg. Place them back down, lift up the other arm and the other leg. The goal is not to have any twisting in the torso region at all as you do it, and what we're gonna try to do is be able to get 10 crosses and then take a break. Three sets, 10 crosses is your goal for today. Guys, any questions or comments, please list them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And as always, we are Optimizing Function to optimize performance.